Welcome to Red Dead 2 and thanks for joining us. Today we are hunting the legendary Bighorn Ram. And there's going to be three clues we're going to have to look for. The first one is the most difficult to find. It's the white question mark, which appears on the map. Uh, we actually are standing outside of Cattail Pond, which is kind of, uh, kind of uh, west, northwest of Valentine, just north of the railroad tracks. And uh, the good news for this is we can actually use any weapon we want. We just got to make sure we have enough firepower to do it. Now, for the first clue, of course, what we are going to do is go up to the white question mark on our compass right there and uh, take a look. All right, we are going to go ahead and hold down the triangle button. And there we are inspecting our first clue. After it gets up here, what we are looking for is tracks. And the tracks are headed this way, so we're going to follow that. Now, the question that arises is how exactly do we track this? In other words, how do we get the screen to go uh, special colors and show us what we're looking at here? So how do you track an animal? Well, you simply press in both the L3 and R3 buttons at the same time, and you'll get this uh, slow motion uh, screen here, and we'll show you all the different lines uh, they're doing. Uh, the nice thing is it shows you where to go next. And it's kind of kind of important because it's a little a uh, little bit dark here, and uh, we're going a little ways to try to find that uh, next clue. And we finally arrive at our second clue. It's this uh, tree bark right here. Uh, we're going to take a look at this uh, by holding down the triangle button. All right. Now that we've got that clue out of the way, we're going to use tracking again to find the next clue or try to follow the white. Uh, White footprints, there's the white footprints, and then of course we use tracking. Here we are looking for the third and final clue. Again, we're going to use tracking. And as I said earlier, you can use any weapon you want. Uh, this time uh, we have the uh, semi-automatic shotgun with uh, five shots. And of course we're going to use dead eye in just a minute. There's the uh, third and final clue there. All right, almost there, almost there. Okay, going to hold down the triangle button and inspect this one right here and now of course it's just a question of finding where that ram is and of course once we find that ram we're going to activate Deadeye by pushing in R3 and oh there it is I'm going to push in R3 and then tag it multiple times with R1 and then of course shoot with R2 there we go looks like we got it and because the shooting sequence happens so fast, I've got a slow motion replay on the left as we go up to inspect the uh, ram here. And uh, there's a couple of options you're going to have once you get up to the ram. Here, I immediately chose to skin the ram. And if I had to do it, do it over again, I probably would have just picked up the whole thing. Although, after I skinned it, I just kind of thought uh, maybe I should probably get the carcass too because it's uh, worth a little bit of money uh, with a trapper so uh, yeah so I whistled for my horse and had to wait a little while to get the good uh, horse and then uh, decided to pick up the carcass as well which you'll see in just a minute uh, one point I would like to make here and that is I would highly recommend you save your game just in case you know something weird happens so that way you don't have to go through this entire mission again. Now you may be aware of some of the trapper locations, uh, but I have decided to list all five of the ones that I know of right here, uh, just to try to help you out. And the good news is we finally got that uh, other big carcass. Gonna put that on a horse, which you will need a horse to carry it back to the trapper. And uh, that is going to wrap this up. I am signing out. Thank you for watching. And uh, good luck.